and got some just to play and hate you. Again. <laughs> what is up, you guys? I'm back with another video. <laughs> Welcome. I want to show you guys. I did something. I did something. I drew the one, the only, the king, literally, because he played the king. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. I drew him, y'all, and it's my favorite drawing that I've drawn this year, thus far, thus far. I, ah, ah, y'all thought you were gonna see it in the beginning of the video. No, you gotta watch it. And I'm gonna talk about my process when I drew this one and, you know, kind of chat with y'all while you're watching the process going on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them underneath. Let's go ahead and pop into this video. I hope you guys love it. Let me know who I should do next. Let's go. What is up, y'all? I'm back. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. This is going to be, obviously, if you guys didn't know in the beginning of it, um, this is Timothy Shalamander. Oh, my gosh. We're going to draw him. Um, if you guys still follow me on TikTok or uh, uh, Instagram, you guys probably already seen this. Uh, this has to be one of my favorite drawings thus far this year, and I am so happy that I finally broke down. Like, so a little bit about the you know the history of this drawing and the reason why I didn't film the beginning like sketches is because I was, it was 11 p.m. at one night and I was like, okay, what, are, what am I gonna draw? Who should I draw? I wanna do something, you know, recognizable. So I was like, Timothy Chalamet, period. So I went ahead and Googled a picture of Timothy Chalamet and I was like sketching and I'm like, okay, I hate this. And I filmed it all on, on, my, on my phone and I tweaked a little thing, a couple things together, whatever, and uh, and then I started drawing the eye, and okay, I was like, uh-uh, I love it, mm -mm, it's over, it's over, so I put, I put on my camera, pressed record, and it all went uphill from there, I love this drawing, I don't mean to hype it up that much, y'all, I, I, I know it's not the best, but I love it so much, oh my gosh, it's so cute, and I can't wait to do some more, um, obviously, I don't use reference photos, as I said before, but, you know, this one, you know, is a game changer, because it's still my little style and it's recognizable. That's all that matters when you do um, reference photo drawings or paintings or whatever. But long story short, I am so glad I broke down and, and drew someone from a reference photo because honestly, this is great practice and it was so much fun to do, you guys. So much fun. Once I did that left eye on the side there, it was so much fun to do. Oh my gosh, I was like, okay, this drawing is coming together together um but yeah i also want to say thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers that is so insane to me insane just i've been on youtube for 10 years and i've been stuck at like 3,000 subscribers for the last three four years and i am just so blessed that i can finally do some art on my channel and have people appreciate it you guys are so amazing i also want to say my comment section on youtube is just so positive everybody is just so nice obviously now that I say it, it's probably gonna you know switch swap but uh, I'm so grateful for all of you guys you guys are amazing I love every single one of y'all anyways um I do want to talk about this comment that I got on my video the other day on TikTok. I think it was the second part of this drawing um anyways the comment was why is everybody so obsessed with this guy who is this guy and I'm like, it got me to think, and I'm like, why are we all obsessed with Timothy Chalamet? That is such a that's a good question. I mean, why are we now? With me, not only is this kid a great actor, kid, I mean, I think he's a little older than me, um, he's not only a great actor, but like, I don't know, something, ha something happened, so let me tell you a little story, y'all, I don't know if y'all even care, but anyways, I moved into my own apartment um, by myself uh, two years, almost two years ago, and I was 20, I think I just turned 21, and a friend of mine was like, hey, like, do you want, like, to me to come over and like we watch Call Me By Your Name. I'm like, oh, I've never seen that movie. And it had already been out for a little while. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I mean, might as well, like, let's go ahead and drink some wine or whatever. I think we like ate something or whatever. Anyways, main point is that's one of my first memories of, of watching a great movie for the first time in my apartment. And I'm living on my own for the first time. And I don't know, it, it brought something out of me. Like, it's not only, you know, obviously I'm gay. So if you haven't noticed, <laughs> but um, obviously, like, I have a, a personal connection to the movie. Um, but, you know, it kind of reminds me, it takes me back. And obviously his face is connected to that movie or whatever. Also, have y'all seen The King? On Netflix, please, if y'all haven't seen The King on Netflix, y'all need to go out and see The King. It's so good. I'm not even into those, like, 
you know, war back then, like Victorian era movies. But honestly, this was smacked. This was smacked in a different way. He was a god. He was a god. Anyways, it was such a good movie. Y'all should watch it. And honestly, those are the only two movies I've ever seen of him in it. So I'm not like a crazy fan, but like, I don't know. I, I need to see more of him. Obviously, he's a great actor. Um, he's also been in Little Woman, but I'm not really into that genre. Um, I also want to see this upcoming movie. Um, it's in black and white, and I think he's in it, and it looks really good. Anyways, sorry to bore y'all. I just wanted to try out this, you know, new layout of maybe me talking to you guys, see how you guys like it. Um, but anyways, I did have a question that I wanted to go over with y'all. And one of the big questions I get a lot is, how did I get into art? That is such a good question. I know everybody has their own story and their own you know background but you know a lot of people says different a lot of people don't even know how they even got into art they kind of just always have done it throughout their life um with me however I kind of knew that I wanted to get into art around like seventh grade it because man, 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 <laughs> y'all hear that I had a damn stroke anyways um I kind of wanted I kind of get into art you know around seventh grade and you know obviously a lot of us have drawn in the past when we we're kids and some of us just don't run with it and I happen to be the one ones who ran with it a lot of other kids did and you know they just didn't really want to branch out and I tried my best to dip my fingers in everything and dip my hands and everything and try to do a whole bunch of crap anyways I found that drawing was my favorite and you know I was the type of kid who instead of being outside playing soccer doing a whole bunch of sports or whatever I was over here on YouTube, practicing my hardest to try and get this face right. I was over here, you know, being super detailed with crap that didn't even matter. That ended up in the trash. Long story short is a lot of my childhood was really just like trying my best to to draw. I mean, that's all I can really remember most of the time. Always staying inside, really doing nothing else but drawing for hours and hours. And we had this really crappy thing pad, y'all. We had this, like... I, it was a ThinkPad, something, some Intel ThinkPad, I can't remember. It was old, and it was trash. The internet was crazy slow, but it got the work done. Obviously, you know, I was really trying my best to learn, and YouTube at the time was still kind of new, not really, but, you know, it's been around for six years, and there was a lot of artists on there, and I don't know if y'all who know who Mark Crilly is. Shout out to him, because honestly, y'all taught me how to draw. You taught me how to draw, fam. Anyways... I really didn't have too much of a of a playful childhood. It got, you know, pretty awesome, you know, throughout the years, of course, when I went to high school. But, you know, in, like, middle school, a lot of my time was not really doing a lot of activities outside and, and building a lot of friendships. It was me being inside. And people always ask, like, how did I build my style? How did I build my style? Like, I didn't have a childhood. You want to sacrifice a childhood? Like... Obviously, I had a childhood, but you get what the you get what I'm saying. Okay, I wouldn't say it was a sacrifice because I still had a great childhood. But anyways, y'all get what I mean. Like being a poor kid, you know, you know, and obviously not being very active. I was a very fat, plump, um, black, gay little boy. Um, obviously, I didn't really have too much to do. I wasn't, you know, doing a lot. But you know, drawing kind of found me, and I found it, and we kind of collided or whatever. Also, being a very lonely kid with no friends, you know, I really didn't hang out with anybody during middle school. I really had no friends. So, you know, I'm so glad I found this, you know, outlet, and it found me, and I'm, you know, it kind of formed my personality that I have now. Anyways, let me move on to this shirt, because this shirt, it was horrendous. I had this idea of, oh, I'm going to make little spots in the one What? These spots never showed up, so I just painted it all black, or not painted it, but I drew it all black, and I did little swervish woves, and it was cute, but yeah, this shirt was trash. Anyways, back to my topic. I'm sorry. I'm kind of going off on a tangent. That's honestly kind of the story of how I found art, and you know, obviously looking at other artists when I was younger was just amazing, and I really have not seen any art when I was younger. It's so crazy, besides in books, and for the first time ever ever y'all i saw pablo picasso last year in new york i saved up my money i got a freaking vacation to new york and oh my gosh life-changing i wanted to cry i wanted to cry i was deceased anyways if i was ever rich i would definitely you know fund a trip for younger kids to see art because honestly that was the opportunity i never got the chance to take so ugh, oh my gosh amazing anyways let's go back to this little drawing of ours let me tell you blue painter's tape is amazing amazing y'all i never really used it before but Y'all, it saved my butt. I love it so much. It's it's so nice to use. Um, I do waste a lot of it, but 
Yo, I just wanted to come in here and talk about this drawing because guess what? Guess what's about to happen? The scratch, the scratch. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love this part. I love this part so much, y'all. It's amazing. I love doing the scratches. Um, y'all, I don't know why I do them, but and I don't know why it's so satisfying to me, but it's just so much fun. One good tip is if you are, you know, putting your hand over the oil pastel where you have it down, put a little like fuzzy thing or napkin or something underneath your hand so you don't smudge it. Great tip. Mm, amazing. And you do a little scratchy scratch here and then scratchy scratch there and you are the one. Ah, it's done, y'all. I'm so happy. I love this drawing so much. Ooh, give me some face. Ooh, ah, ooh, my God. Mm, ew, this stop. is the fitness piece. I love it so much. It's so cute. I popped off. I love it so much. Yeah, I don't want to hype myself up, but damn. Anyways, I'm going to serenade y'all, so stay tuned. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't click off because I'm a great singer. <laughs> I speak French too. I guess I'm just a play date to you. Love my why it's a new road. I fall along with my goals.